first, you're gonna need three things. Multi Blood, Community Edition, I think the Steam Edition works too, Pal Mod, and Fire Extractor. Fire Extractor, it comes with Community Edition in this folder, Fire Extractor. For Pal Mod, you have to download it from our website. I'll link it in the description below. Okay, so first, the first thing we're gonna do is go to our Multi Blood main folder and find this file 0002.p what we're gonna do is go to our tools go to our file extractor let's cut it Oops. and then paste it in our main folder already did it so it's right there okay so what we're gonna do is drag this file over to our dump.exe then it will extract everything this is where all your pallets and the character data is anyway it extracts it to our data folder what we do is drag this and put this into our multi data folder you can delete that out folder it's not important anyway now that we have our out folder this is where all the data is in order to prevent the game so this is so if the 0002 folder file is still in the main folder no matter what changes you make it will always refer to the original colors so what we can do is just drag this over to data so it doesn't read that anyway let's continue we're gonna go to our palmon we're gonna open that we get a blank screen Okay, so now we're gonna load up our directory for multiplayer. So you go to your multiplayer folder and then you select data. And then you get your colors. Okay, so Power Mod, it will open up with the data on the left and then the palette preview on the right. Power Mod, Power Mod gives us some very simple tools. That let us color pretty quickly so what you can do is actually click on a sprite like a section of the sprite and it'll point to you the color it actually is on the left you can also select the color and then press blink and it'll actually blink and show you what you're changing okay so we got elton's purple how about we make that a red instead uh yeah now we just make this like a red I like this one. Okay. Um, it's not too many. Anyway, okay. Okay, so we got our first part. What I like to do is actually. Okay, so how this works is that every part of a character's like like their shirt or their legs they're usually comprised of three colors or four which is one is the main color and then the others are the shades so what i like to do is actually apply the main color to every part so we get this solid abomination and then and then you edit it then you make each part successively darker so you get shadows like so I think this is a bit too bright but it doesn't matter I'm just showing you how to actually use the program okay so purple I don't think it looks too good for the red so let's change that I think her hair is right here yes so let's make that white we're gonna make every part of her hair white Okay, so now you get this. So we're just gonna do the same, the same thing we did for the other thing. Okay, so I'm gonna make every part successively darker, so we get nice shades. Okay. 
This is a bit more gray than white, but I think it still works. Anyway, we now have our we now have our palette. Okay, so now what you do is press Control S to actually catch the changes to your file to the data folder, and to actually share this palette with your friends or Discord or whatever. What we do is go to export image which is to export this like the preview what i like to do is actually put the zoom size to two so you get a bigger image and you save it okay and then you go to tools and you save the palette and you get a dot and you get an axe file I already made this pipe before, so I will just save it again. Okay. And now we're done with Palmod for now. Okay, so now what you need to do is actually go back into your data folder and go to the character that you edited. So we edited Sion. We're gonna find. Oh, where is that? We're going to find the com.pal. We're going to copy this and then go into the C cell folder and then paste it. This folder just shows you the how it just shows you the character select model and the main folder shows you how it looks in the actual battle. Uh, you just replace both of them so they appear to be the same. Okay, and now you're done. Make sure you actually back up your 002.p folder. Like we put it in here so it's safe. But make sure you don't delete it in case you want to get your original palettes back. Okay? And let me actually open up the game to see if it actually worked. Because this shit doesn't work sometimes. There we go. Okay, now you have your palette. 